Hello guys, um, my today's video is about iPhone X which is dead and the problem with these sort of uh, iPhones which has got this um, sandwich board is uh, to find out um, before you start opening it or before you separate the layers where the problem is. So there is a very simple way even before you start, like uh, if the shot is on VD domain, input shot or output shot. So I have got iPhone X here, which you can see is I have already attached um, charging port and uh, the power button. So now this phone is dead, been to many shops and then of course, you know, um, separating the both layers that requires um, sort of skills and how to use the equipment and um, and they just told them that there is a logic board problem and um, it can't be fixed and if it, anyway so the customer was here so um, i would like to show you see how to find out first of all without even you know separating these um, layers uh, where the fault is so see look here so dc power supply is there okay so and iphone i will connect uh, so keep an eye here so see as soon as i'm gonna connect this here so what do you see see this amperes it's started showing amperes here so without even opening it i know this is uh, the shot on vdd main so to further explain why it's vdd main even before i open it so this is what you know you need to learn so now the second thing i will be doing is separating uh, this board and uh, then we will find out but from my experience what i have seen as soon as i connect the charging cable it's showing um the shot but the shot we know there is a shot on the board but the shot is on vdd main which is most probably uh, vdd main is on the upper board on iphone x so let's separate the board and see how it goes so i have already attached the charging cable board on this separator machine and uh, I will turn it on now. Okay, to start heating now. So, just for your information, the factory solder which is on uh, these board are connected to each other is uh, 275 degrees. So, to separate this board, we have to a little bit more than that. So I'm waiting the temperature to reach to a certain level so that uh, so you can find any point you know there or here where okay so I can see it's almost well, I have to cut this off here so that because this is a paper and just find a place where you can you know gently pull this up we don't have to push it hard just you know when it comes off by itself so I'm just putting it here and waiting I don't want to push anything hard I'm also keeping an eye on the main unit of this as it is separator. So, see, I can see it has moved and it can come anytime, and there you go. And I will turn this off. So. Mm, there you go. So it's easy to separate these um, iPhone X and uh, 
people think that repairs has become a little bit more difficult but honestly speaking it has become a little bit more convenient because all the charging mechanism is there and then other network and you know it's there so it's easy for you to find out where the fault is so anyway the board you can see is already been separated so let's give it an examination under the microscope so let's start from here um, I would like to be a little bit you know zoomed in so that if I see anything which is unusual we can figure it out so that's all look to me so let's look at the other book so let's uh, check the board where the um, VDD main is which I'm most expecting most probably where the short is so I see a thing here and let's check this in continuity mode and now that's okay maybe the ball from here that came down there so that all looks okay to me so here I see a bit of ugly face which is if you can see this guy here so let's look uh, what line is it so if we go here so that is just by U3100 and this am I right let's look back here again if I'm not wrong yep that black guy there which is most probably this one uh, so see this is on PP VDD boost line which is connected to U3100 and U4700 U4400 and uh, RK so this looks this and this looks for me they are bit burnt so I will show you here again see this is almost has gone black and this one has got little bit of burnt mark so this is a VDD main boost line so let's check if they have got yep so this is shorted this is shorted this is shorted I think you can hear the beep so first of all what I would like to do is uh, first of all I would like to do um, in this situation where I don't see a capstar is physically examination is burned if I don't see anything it's all clean that is where I use thermal camera first but uh, in my previous video you have seen if um, the thermal camera is showing um, a IC is heating up for example on this one here is uh, I will show you here so see if under the thermal camera if we are um, provide um, current to the board and if you see U3100 is showing the heat point it doesn't necessarily mean that is that that IC is faulty so first look at the capacitors so now I don't even have to go uh, uh, use the thermal camera because uh, you know that ugly face is there and it's quite obvious that um, one of these 
two capacitors which is uh, let's find out what capacitors are these so this one and this one so let's so ta -ta -ta. this one is c311 and c3112 so what i would do i would just remove the one which is showing dark and you know looks like it's just burnt so let's try this one here first uh, this is the triple one so back here and so what I usually do to do, 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 do yes I have to use this one here okay let's put some flux there is little bit of space here so it should be okay yep, that's enough okay and let's pull it out yep So now first of all because if it's not this one most probably it's the next one so let's check here in continuity mode again I think you can see first of all check this one if this is shorted yep this is shorted so let's look under the microscope here see guys shorted and now come down here move it and then just check here yep no short let's check this one so guys see easy stuff so just by physical examination we did not have to go uh, to use the thermal camera or um, the freeze spray method or there are few more that you can you have to find out where the short is but the easiest one is with your physical inspection you just remove it and uh, the short is gone so the next thing is uh, we have to before we put these um, um, both layers together solder them together we have to uh, check if it's working or not there is a way to check and there is a gadget available without soldering them you can check if it's working or not so let's do it so this is the apparatus which you have to use um, before you solder back uh, both of these so what you have to do is to put this here and I will connect uh, this cable is on goes on the lower board which is here I will just attach it so that it's easier for me and then this is that connects both of these boards together I think I will it will go this way and here yep anyway ah oh, come on and put this one here so i think as i you guys know i'm not good at putting these fpc connectors I hate it when it comes to these connectors to put anyway so I have to do it and then same way we have to come on okay well done Zef okay and this board here and then i will fold it here david 
Yes. Can you come here for a minute, please? I need your help. This. Yep. Okay. Can you hold the board here, please, like this, and hold the LCD? Yep. Thank you. And now I will put. Um, okay, leave it here. Yeah, I'm holding it now. Okay. Thank you. This is iPhone X. Connector and there and there. Come on, man, hurry up. Okay. okay so that's all connected so i will hold it down like this and okay and then uh, david if you can move it a little bit here so that i can turn it on if it's turning on i don't know at this stage so we will keep an eye david can you tell me when the when it's showing drying the voltage is it drying now so if it's drying now that means okay and short has gone and david i have to hold it here can you put hold it for you no no just see if we have got the display oh no it's turned off again maybe i move my hand so let's do it again and uh, put this here so that i can see if it's turning on so let me know when you have got any display we should have got an a display a uh, is it turning on drawing the voltage yes okay yeah, yeah. Apple logo is oh apple logo is there so keep holding keep holding so easy peasy so we remember guys we have not sold uh, it back yet so soldering back is as easy as taking it out so okay right so okay it's turning on so i have to solder it back so that should be all okay so just just leave it now thank you thank you david thank you okay guys uh, we will put it back properly and should have no problem it's drawing the right amps and um, i don't want to check touch c so nicely turned on okay i don't want to do anything else because it's not soldered back it's just uh, figure out that the short is relieved so guys uh, let's look here it's yeah all good okay so so the short is relieved easily so i will see if i have got time i will um, show you because there are lots of videos uh, on the um, on the youtube how to uh, reboil the board and put it back it's it's easy it's not difficult it's just that reballing is right and then put it back together so yeah so phone is fixed so thanks for watching thank you bye